Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Mega Emerald X and Y Nuzlocke, although I'm probably just going to call it Mega Emerald Nuzlocke from now on as that's a little bit quicker. And last episode we went ahead, we caught ourselves a couple of Pokemon to start with this Nuzlocke, we got ourselves a beautiful Froakie as our starter, a Skiddo, not Herdia, uh, despite the, the weird issue with the icon, it, I can guarantee you, it is a Skiddo, as weird as that is. Uh, we also got ourselves a Ducklet and a Rolts. I got all these guys up to level 5, that's not the craziest level of all time. Admittedly, level 5 is very strong for the very, very early game, for like this episode. But at the same time, it means that Rolts has an attacking move in Confusion, and I also learned the power of Ducklet. Can't believe I'm saying those words, but Ducklet has 13 special attack, right? For perspective, that's like an extra 50%, okay, compared to Skiddo, in terms of its attack. Okay. Uh, Rolts only has 10 special attack, and is considered a pretty good special attacker in my opinion for the early game. And our starter has 14, and it's 3 levels higher. Not to mention, this Ducklet has stabbed with War Gun. Honestly, I think Ducklet's gonna go a long way. Uh, I could be wrong, I could be very wrong, but I think Ducklet's got a lot of potential. So, with that all said and done, last episode we did start going ahead onto Route 102, we got our encounter here, without these trainers. Uh, but that does mean we have ourselves Wally. Another Ralts? What's going on here? This thing's meant to be rare. Has it been swapped around or am I just really lucky at finding Ralts? Because I guarantee you, when you want to find a Ralts here, you just don't find it. As soon as you don't want to, boom. It's everywhere. Is it another one? It is not. It's a pearl line. Okay. <laughs> we might have just been lucky. I wasn't sure if the rates were just completely swapped around and this place was just all topsy-turvy and the rarest Pokemon here is like a low tad. Can you imagine? That'd be very, very strange. We also have an item here, which is a potion. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm curious to see if Wally's going to catch a Ralts or if Wally's going to catch something different. Because we're definitely going to have some rival battles with Wally. 100%. Uh, but normally, at least the first couple of battles aren't anything impressive. So I'm curious to see if we'll catch a Ralts again and be kind of useless for the, the start of the early game. Or if he's going to completely switch a Ruas, catch like... A Garchomp and, and Deck Us throughout the entire game. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping for a Ralts. Uh, but, <laughs> but a Garchomp would be interesting too. Uh, either way, Skiddo, not too scary. Even if we get hit by a Tackle, it shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, I have one of these things. It hits like paper, honestly. It's not the strongest Pokemon. I wasn't 100% sure if it was going to be like a little bit weird. Maybe get the stab from Herdia. Maybe you have Herdia's stats. We're not that lucky. Uh, Ruffler. Hmm? Ruffler. I think we're just going to stay in and then use Frubbles a little bit. We have these other members, but generally in the early game, you're expected to have like one Pokemon anyway. They don't think we've got four Pokemon yet. All the Pokemon are going to be scaled around having one Pokemon. We'll be fine. Now I did double check, and there is definitely an increased difficulty in this game. Uh, it says so on the website that I downloaded it on. So I don't 100% know how buffed that difficulty is. I don't know if they mean levels. I don't know if they mean Pokemon changes. I don't know if they mean, like, full Sun teams. That would be cool, too. But I do know there's increased difficulty, so we're going to take some precautions. We're going to make sure that we grab Orange Berries <laughs> and Betcha Berries, because we're probably going to need them. And we're going to play safe for the moment. Until I catch a Pokemon with Metronome, then everything goes downhill. But until we get that, we're going to play safe. I want Metronome. I really want Metronome. Uh, we're gonna ignore that lady just for a moment. There's no item here. That's really weird. I know the potion's been moved to the left, but it feels so wrong. It feels so, so wrong to have things moved around in Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> I meant to know where everything is. I've played this game more than any other Pokemon game. Another Skidder does make me regret not getting Ducklet to a point where it has Wing Attack, but also I don't think I've ever really used a Ducklet. So I don't know when it learns Wing Attack. Hopefully early. Hopefully it's like a Starly and it learns it at like level 9 or something stupid. That'd be amazing, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. I don't know when it learns Wing Attack. If it even learns it, it might only get Air Slash. Because generally, if you see a Swanna set, it has- what? It has Air Slash? What? I- <clears> hmm. <throat> um. Uh. That's- that's a typo, right? That's a really strong typo. They meant to spell Starly, right? Star- Starly. There's, there's an S, there's an A, there's a Y. Starly. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a Starly and not a Shaman. <laughs> they, 
I wouldn't send in a shaman. Oh, that'd be... That'd be crazy, right? I mean, we can tail whip with... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I find Nuzlocke's the wrong game. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's a shaman. That's a legendary shaman on the second episode, huh? That's that's something that we're doing, huh? We're gonna tail whip. Tackle does four. Tackle does four. Four isn't too much. Four is a nice, nice amount. We're gonna go for another tail whip. Uh, we can live another one, even if it's a crit. So I think we are gonna growl once. Absorb. Okay, good to know that it has it. That does one whole damage. Very scary, very scary. Honestly, I'm shaking a little bit. Uh, but we do have our main Pokemon as a war type. However, I'm kind of hoping that Handlebars can kick into gear and do a good job here. Kind of hoping on that. I don't know. Tackle doesn't do as much as I hoped. I was hoping that would actually do like a third of its health. That, that didn't even get close to a third of its health. Uh, from here, a crit will KO us. So I'm actually tempted to swap. We do have a potion. I don't like using a potion this early on. I really don't, but I'm gonna use a potion here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna potion up. How often are we gonna run into shamans? Hopefully not too often. Hopefully. I can dream. Why is there a shaman on, on the first route with trainers? At least it's not Shaman Sky. If it was Shaman Sky, oh my lord, we would be so bopped. We would be so bopped. It would actually be incredible how bopped we would be. It would come down to... I don't know what it would come down to. I don't even want to imagine it. Let's not imagine it, okay? Let's just look forward to the next route, where instead of the Magikarp Fisherman being like level 9, it's gonna be Dialga, okay? I'm ready, I'm excited, it's gonna be a great time. Honestly, if we have Leech Seed before that, we might have a chance. But I don't know when Skiddo learns moves either, because to be honest, I don't remember much from 6th Gen, if I'm perfectly honest. 6th Gen movesets? Not too familiar with in comparison with the rest. Okay. To keep winning my way up, I see that I have to catch more Pokemon. No, I think you just need to train up that Shaman a tiny bit, honestly. I think that'll that'll do you wonders. Oh, everything is rearranged here and it's really weirding me out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the confusion is about to set in. While we're healing up in this town, it does remind me of the fact that we are in a town. And that's a really weird thing to say, but... I'm saying it for a reason, and that is, we will be able to get an encounter in this town at some point, once we get a fishing rod. Same goes for Old Ale Town, uh, the town that we start in. Once we get a fishing rod, we can get encounters there. Hi, I'm from the Lily Cove Pokemon. Why don't you take this free sample? What is this noise I'm hearing in the background? What is this noise I'm hearing in the background? What, is there a monkey laughing at me in the backing track? Because that's beautiful. I need that, honestly. Uh, is the monkey in here? Where's the monkey? I want to find the monkey. Right, we can grab more Pokeballs, we can grab potions, we can grab Paralyzed Heals, we can grab Awakenings. Uh, honestly, obviously the orange male is the best thing we can find here. Do we want to get X items? Not yet. Not yet. We'll see how it goes. At the moment, I really don't want to get excited, but we don't even have any money. We do not have a single piece of money to our name. Never mind. We have no reason to be in a Pokemon. We're broke. What is that noise? It's really confusing me. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. Hey, that's me. No, it's not me. Or is it me? It's not me. It's not me at all. <laughs> I'm thinking of May. Good job, me. I bowed Norman once, but woo, he was way too strong. How would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. Instead of slacking, he's gonna have a Regigigas, I'm calling it. It'd be kind of fitting, actually. I kind of like that. Where has our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdant Turf Town very soon. Hmm. Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and mountains. I honestly thought that was gonna be Mr. Briny for a second. <sighs> I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Fall through some damp grass, climb rocky rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves. You have a weird idea of a fun time. But sometimes, you can get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a no from me. My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or could it be a look of somber silence struggling with fear? What do you see reflected in your face? 
I'm ready for this just to be a complete joke, and I just see like Dark Press staring back at me. Boom. I see myself becoming incredibly cross-eyed and not cross-eyed very quickly. That's what I see. Same to you, my dude. Um, okay, no Dark Cry though, sadly. Let's say you have six Pokemon if you catch another one, so I've magically set to your box. Yep, we we know that. I can't go over here. Okay. I'm just gonna try and go to that building up in the top left where Wally's parents are or whatever. But it seems like we can't do that just yet. So let's go and see what Wally catches. There's a chance it's going to be a Ralts. There's a chance it's not going to be a Ralts. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Carlos. So, you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself? Ah, oh, I see. You're with your Pokémon. Hmm. And I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Carlos. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Wally, what are you getting? Wally. Wally, what are you getting? Wally, I'm afraid. Wally. Wally. Watch him go into the grass and catch, like, a Meloetta, okay? He's gonna catch a Meloetta. He received a Zigzagoon. Honestly, if he's using a Zigzagoon, a Meloetta would probably bop him. It can't be too powerful, right? Right? Right, that makes sense. It can't be too powerful. Honestly, if it's a Rolts after all of this, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. It's in the snow. Alice Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please, watch me and see if I can catch one po properly. Uh... Uh, uh, it's a Ralts on screen. <laughs> Does that confirm it? It probably confirms it. That's not a Zigzagoon. That's, that's straight up not a Zigzagoon. That's, no. No, that's not how that works, Wally. That, you didn't get given this Pokemon. Does that mean Zigzagoon's not in the game? That can't be right. That can't be right. In the description of the game, it says there's all 721 Pokemon, right? That means Zigzagoon is somewhere? But why would they randomize the original Zigzagoon to make Zigzagoon Skidder? It seems strange to me. It seems strange to me. Unless Zigzagoon's become this all-powerful, sentient being. Like something on par with Bidoof, so it's got to be put really late in the game. Maybe. That's very possible. We'll keep an eye out for it. I did it. It's my Pokemon. Tell us thank you, let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Tell us thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I did nothing. <laughs> I sat there and poked fun at your rolls. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me. I have to go. Bye, Carlos. Now, Carlos, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rossboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to defeat Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Carlos. That's only after you become stronger. Actually, yeah, he is my father in this game. Why do I think it was only May for a second? That was a weird thought I had. Yeah, he is definitely our father. Always is. Uh, I'm weird. Ah, you must be Carlos, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdantaf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. If I had to take a guess, I would say he is already at, uh, Morville. Probably my guess. I think he's already at Morville. Excuse me, let me guess from the way you're dressed. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Nah. Nah. Nah, not me. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that day. Are you ever a rookie trainer? Or maybe you're just an ordinary kid? I'm, a, I'm gonna become one of those contest people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be a coordinator. <laughs> Has anyone ever said that? Don't think so. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. Sorry to have taken your time. Honestly, if at one point in the future, the Pokemon games had coordination battles like in the anime, I would happily do that. But the contests in Pokemon Emerald, not quite the same thing. If you're gonna throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first, it'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or lulled to sleep. Is it time for a new encounter? I think it is. Who do we want in front? Probably not Frubbles. Probably something like Handlebars that can growl it and weaken it slowly. What is our encounter for 104 going to be? Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I'm seeing what you're saying, and I'm wondering if it's gonna bop me. Uh, why is there a Roserade on my screen? Um, so at this point, we've just thrown any kind of logic and scaling out the window, and we've decided, low level good Pokemon. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this, if I can catch it. We're gonna go for a tackle. Crazy, I know. What a, what a mad lad move. And we're gonna see how much it does. If it does, like a sixth? That's not even a sixth. We're gonna tail whip. If it's just absorb, we're okay. I'm very afraid, believe it or not, of Poison Sting. Poison Sting would probably hurt a fair bit. It's not the highest base power, but super effective and stab, and it's coming from a Roserade. That makes me a little bit afraid. Obviously, if it goes for Sludge Bomb, we're dead, so there's no point even considering that, but... We... we're gonna go for a tackle and see how much this does now. A Poison Point. Okay. Poison Point isn't too good. I'm gonna tackle once more, and then maybe Poison Heal? I've only seen Absorb. If it's only Absorb, I'm comfortable, because we don't actually have any Grass Stab yet. I will happily catch this thing with just Absorb. That'll be fine. I think we're gonna go... I wanna go for one more. But I also kinda wanna see if how, just how effective a Pokeball is. It's level four. Levels are taken into consideration when you catch Pokemon. Okay. Okay. See, that's all I needed to check. I just needed to check if that was going to be a complete waste of time or not. And it was. It was a complete waste of time. That thing is not getting caught just yet. Let's... Strongly consider... Uh, we're going to go for one more tackle. I've only seen Absorb. It only has Absorb. There's no way it would have gone all this time without going for another move if it had another move. So we're going to tackle. I don't, even a crit would be helpful here. We don't get a crit. We get affected by poison. Uh, I do think it's worth going for a poison heal. Or even just a patch of berry, I guess. That'll do exactly the same thing. So we're gonna heal our poison. A crit will do two HP. So as long as we have three HP or more, we're fine. I'm gonna throw a pokeball. I know I can weaken it a little bit more, but I wanna test. Yellow health, level four. Level four. Okay, you're level four. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is the big downside, right? Of really good Pokemon right at the start. This is definitely a downside. Trying to catch it is hard. And we're gonna have very limited potions. Once we've caught it, we have a powerful ally though. That is something to consider. We will have a very, very powerful ally once this thing is caught. Maybe I need to tail whip again? I'm going for one more tail whip. Are you ready for me to crit and KO this thing? Because I'm ready. I'm ready for me to crit and KO this thing. It's gonna happen. I'm kinda banking on no crit right now. I obviously can't really swap. Maybe I could go into Rolts and Confusion, but that feels riskier than it needs to be when I know this thing does 1 HP. It's a slow process, but honestly, I want the Roserade. I want the Roserade. From there, I don't feel comfortable going for another one. I just don't feel the comfort there. Once it's healed up and absorbed like once or twice more, sure. Or we can just catch it and that makes me so much happier. We have a Roserade. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we are gonna go ahead and just call you something real, real simple. We're gonna call you Rose, but with a Z. Nice and simple. Or Rosé, if you want. That could also be what it could be called. Uh, we're gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick, because we have a very low health Roserade, and I don't know what else is in this grass. I, I don't want to know what else is in that grass. I kind of want to avoid the grass, but also curiosity is going to get the better of me and I'm going to go in the grass. I need to know what's in there. Hopefully, something that's uh, weak other than Roserade, and Roserade's like the very special thing on this route, that'd make me very happy. Not going to be the case. <laughs> it's not going to be the case at all. What else can we find on this route? Uh, actually, I do not lead, need to lead off with Handle Blast. Instead, let's lead off with the Ducklet. The Ducklet's powerful. 
It's neutral to absorb. It's probably fast enough to run away from things. Another Rose Raid. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But what else is here? I need to know what else is here. I need to know what I possibly missed out on. I need to know if you've just put something like an Electrike here. Not Electrike. Electivire. I said Electrike and I was four. I thought of Electivire. Electrike would also be okay though. <laughs> I'd be very happy with that. It's just another Rose Raid. Um. One more encounter? For the sake of curiosity? One more? Also a Rose Raid. Maybe it's just Rose Raids. That's a really weird patch of grass to make dedicated to Rose Raids, but okay. I'm... I'm just gonna accept it. I am just gonna accept it and be like, okay, they wanted Rose Raids here. Sure. Brew 104, Pair of Luck C, we know that. Pity Hidden Item here. An Antidote? Okay, that's not a bad thing to have at all. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right, if trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to a battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. I do want to battle. So let's see what this dude has. Let's see what happens. We've seen a Shaman. We've seen a Roserade. Youngster Billy, what do you have for me today? Skiddo, that's fine. That's, that's honestly a relief on my heart. <laughs> that's, that's so much weaker and that's great. Uh, in terms of weakening this thing, we don't do great against grass types yet. Let's see what your water gun does. Out of curiosity. That's still a solid amount. That's actually not that bad. That's really not that bad. I'm gonna go for another water gun. I'm actually semi confident. Hey, look again. See, now I'm gonna swap out. Now you've made me afraid of crits. Right now you've got me on, on a point where I'm a little bit worried, okay? So, we're just going to go into Handlebars. Right, Handlebars is obviously going to be fine in this situation, because they're the same Pokemon, and this one's already weakened. So we should be fine to just tackle it down. I could go for a Tail Whip, but I think just going for Tackle is going to be enough. Depends on what the next Pokemon is. Oh, there's the crit. There's the crit. Okay, I'm glad that didn't happen in the Rosary Battle. And you also have a C-Dot. I'm not afraid of the C-Dot, and yet I'm afraid of the C-Dot. We're gonna go into Ralts. This thing wouldn't explode. It, it, would, it wouldn't explode. Right, level seven. Level seven? Level seven? It wouldn't explode. <laughs> this game has inflicted some serious worries into my mind. I no longer know what to expect. Who has... You know what? Skiddo, you're gonna go back out. Just... Listen. Self-destruct is a move this thing learns. Bide. Bide is fine. Bide gives me time to tail whip. I'm happy with Bide. Go for Bide. Bide is great. Maybe I want to growl as well, just in case. Maybe. I'm right in thinking that he attacks this turn, right? So I can tackle? Yeah. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Okay, that's fine. We eat that. That's fine. That didn't do too much. Well, six. S predicted. Uh, we are gonna go for another Tail Whip. And hope he goes for Bite again. I can deal with Bite. Bite is fine. We can manipulate this. We know that we outspeed. We just go for a Tail Whip. This turn he's gonna store energy. Next turn he's gonna attack, so he may as well just Tail Whip again. And then we attack next turn. We deal good damage. Rinse and repeat. Victory. Okay. I was a little bit afraid that this thing would pull out self-destruct. That still does not do enough damage. That is weak. I don't think two more would... Okay. One more rinse and repeat. <laughs> and then we'll be fine. I thought maybe we could just go for tackles here. But I'm actually not comfortable with it. Handlebars kind of sucks. I would have preferred a Zigzagoon. I would have definitely preferred a Zigzagoon. And then... Wait. We tackle this turn, right? I wasn't paying enough attention. I was thinking about the, the, the beautiful, beautiful Dolarian Zigzagoons. Uh, yeah, we tackle this turn. Right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> I'm making this harder than it needs to be. I'm making this so much harder than it needs to be by getting distracted. Okay, we hit level 6. Do we get any grass move? No, that's that's a shame. That's a real shame. 
I got sand in my run, it's still grey. Poor dude, this poor dude. I want to leave my footprints in the sand everywhere, but they disappear quickly. I'm a heart scale? Don't mind if I do. And a potion. Now, this fisherman, right? This fisherman is one of the worst fishermen you can see in any Pokemon game if you're doing a Nuzlocke, especially a randomized Nuzlocke, because his Magikarp is a higher level. But we're gonna go into the fight anyway. I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. If it whoops out Gyarados, I'm not counting this. <laughs> if, the, if it whoops out Gyarados, I'm running. Magikarp, that's fine. That's fine. I was so afraid he was gonna pull out some stupid Pokemon. We're gonna Water Gun. It's not gonna do a lot of damage, but it should do enough to weaken it down slowly. Magikarp special defense is pretty bad. We're fine. We do have a Roserade. But I kind of want to dump the XP into Ducklet. Roserade's really great and all, but it'll probably level up a little bit slower, whereas Ducklet should level up really quickly and for some reason has really good stats. Can't believe these words coming out of my mouth. I'm complimenting a duck. I am, I am actually genuinely happy to have this duck on my side. It's because it's called Goose. It's because it's called Goose. That's how to make your Ducklet powerful if you've ever wondered. But a war gun is going to be enough to take out the Magikarp. I don't think the bug catcher beside him battles us, but we'll check. You never know what's been changed around. Wait, 7 XP gets us level 6. Flying move? No flying move. Okay, that's a shame. I can dream. I can dream of getting stabbed. You. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. It's wet. High IQ, I know. Uh, right. Let's speak to you. I see the Zigzagoon pen. I want to go. I let, let me in. Wait. What is, what is this? What is this? What are you, what? What is this? I feel so uncomfortable with this slight change. <laughs> You're a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs, isn't it wild Pokemon? I mean, you're right. I guess. Unless you've got a snack machine and you're stealing it from an evil team, in which case, go for it. One day, we will bring back the snack machine and Pokemon. One day. I'm holding out hope, okay? I'm still holding out hope. It's gonna happen. Uh, let's go ahead, have ourselves this battle over here. We're fighting a level 7, right? We're just gonna lead with Frubbles, I think, and Frubbles should be fine. Do you have a Zigzagoon? Do you have full restores? You must have been fate to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Do you have full restores, ma'am? Ma'am, I need to ask you a question. Uh, can you can you not can you not use use them? Skiddo, okay, that's fine. I don't know if at level seven this thing has any grass type move, but we're gonna tackle, because even if it has one, we should live probably a crit from it. Tail whip. That's fine. You just go for another tackle, even if it tackles us, I'm still not afraid. Another tail whip. Again. Even if it tackles us, I'm not too afraid, because it's only one tackle. Tail up again, and we're gonna bop you. Am I right in thinking that tackle has a chance to miss? In this game? Ooh. 95 accuracy. But Bubbles only base 20 power, not 40, so it's still probably best to go for tackle. Okay. 95 accuracy. Full restore. That explains the tactic. And... Oh no 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 I don't like this game. I don't like this miss game we're playing, okay? I mentioned it specifically because I was afraid that would happen. I don't like this game we're playing. Tackle. That's fine. Tackle me. That's fine. I'm swapping right back into Frubbles. I just... No. 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 Nuh-uh. Not happening. I'm kinda glad that she went for the full store. Kinda glad. Kinda sad, but kinda glad. Tail whip. Okay, we'll just repeat the process fine, I guess. Uh, tackle. We get hit by tackle, it does three, and that's after a tail whip. 
That's actually no damage at all. That's... Wow, we, we just straight up, like, eat your hoof as you plow into me, huh? We just... Poor thing. Maybe he should try tackling us with the, the horns on his head, rather than his butt. Rather than his fluffy butt. That'd be an idea. But, uh, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> and I think... Do we want to poke our heads into the forest? Do we poke our heads into the forest and get an encounter? It's been half an hour, let's not. Let's save that for the next episode, because that way we get to start off the episode with an encounter, and that's always fun. 1,400 bucks for beating you. Yes, please. I'm going to run through the grass. Okay, no encounter. That's fine. And we are going to go and heal up. But for now, we're going to round up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Nuzlocke, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be back there Bye.